Here we have a problem about compound interest. And compound interest happens when you have an account where the bank or the financial institution promises to pay you a certain percent of interest. So every year you get a little bit of money, which is a percent of what you have deposited. And then as that money grows in there, the percent is on the bigger amount. So the first year, if you got 16%, it'd be 2000 plus something. And then the second year, the 16% would be on that 2000 plus something. So it grows over time. Let's see how this works uh, in this particular problem. It says that, suppose that 2000 is placed in an account that pays 16% interest. Wow, that's a high interest rate. Um, each year, compounded each year. Assume that no withdrawals are made from the account. Follow the instruction below, do not do any rounding. First, find the amount of the account at the end of one year. So in the first year, you started with $2,000. To find the amount of interest, you would just multiply that by 16%. So of course, we'll move the decimal point two places to the left here, and we'll get 0.16. So that's the amount of interest that will be added to 2,000. So let's uh, bring up a calculator and, and try that out. So 2,000 times 0.16, that is $320. Not bad. So that's the amount that gets added. So the amount in your account is 23 20. Okay. Now, our second year, it says find the amount in the account at the end of two years. Our second year, we're going to take 16%, not of 2,000, but of 2,320. It's the same calculation that we're going to multiply by 0.16. So let's pull up our calculator. So we'll multiply, just add 2,000 here, and we'll multiply by 0.16. That's $371.20. And we add that to our 2,320. And we get $2,691.20. So you can see uh, the money is growing pretty quickly, even after only two years with this compound interest.